Good day gamers, Matt in the hat here and welcome back to my channel. Well welcome to my channel. And welcome once again back to Destiny 2, where this time we'll be seeing what week two has in store for us as the season of the witch has continued. I hope you enjoy. Right, so we are back on Hunter again because silly old me forgot to go through and play through the thing on my Titan. <laughs> and uh, this morning I've been trying to beat the Lost Sector on my Hunter for the um, Moth Grenade Arms. I believe she's in the middle here, isn't she? Greetings, Guardian. I oh, she's focusing my back will, to normal. Preparing myself to step into the ritual space once again. Oh. When I first transformed, I thought I might become something greater. Instead, my doubts fell away and I found myself simplified. Refined. Though I became Hive, I was more... myself. I mentioned that to Ikora and she furrowed her brow. I told her she would have time to worry later. But now, I need tithes. Sword logic may be high philosophy, but your tithes of power are real. And when I absorb them, it feels like hope. Huh. Fight in my name, Guardian. Every opponent you defeat strengthens me, from Shaxx's crucible to Savathun's own throne world. The Hive believe that only the strongest have earned their existence. If a queen cannot hold her power, she must be betrayed. I will not deny them their dogma. I will embody it. <clears throat> Certainly some interesting words from her this morning. I didn't realize she could transform back. Um, Yes, we're learning about the sword logic. Or oh, Aramis's story, I believe, is what it said. Or both. That, ooh, a cutscene. The sword logic. The impetus of the hive. Oryx, the Taken King, brother to Savathun and Zivu Arath. Sought whispers from the worms of fundament and dredged this truth from the deep. All things must prove their right to exist. The rest will die in terror. There is neither escape nor exemption. Simple. Essential. Beautiful to know. Oryx led his sisters down the bladed path. We have tested ourselves against horrors. We emerge changed. Through this, we become stronger. We become free. Uh. We will avail ourselves of our enemy's tools. Zivu Arath believes every death proves the sword logic. Oh, that is she some cool imagery the right there. The shape of the traveler's lie by her blade. But she needs her truth. She is desperate for its vindication. <laughs> she wishes for a world without grief, or pity, or doubt. Not baleful, not beautiful. A childish cry. The hive call us liars, the unfree, deniers of the all edged truth. But I take the power the sword logic offers not out of desperation, but desire for Crota. Savathun. I 
wield their killers as a knife. The Hive know this truth as well as any logic. I am here, and they are not. Wow, <laughs> that was a pretty sick cutscene. Didn't want to talk for it because it was like so cool. And it was, uh, yeah, it was really good, um, cool and interesting. I'm assuming we'll pick solar this week as we are uh, running solar at the moment. I don't think, you know, I forgot any more cards to pick up. As you can see, I've been a little bit busy. <laughs> Accidentally wasted a red bar from one of those. Because um, it said, pick up a red bar. And uh, yeah, I hadn't claimed the weekly red bar. So I just skipped it and missed it. So I was like, no... Oh, that's the uh, challenge done. We gotta uh, do a thing magic now. Um, didn't quite catch what that said. Metamorphosis attunement of some sort. Uh, so we gotta go to the lost sectors in the throne world. Does it matter which? Oh, yeah, it does matter. <laughs> it has been marked for us. I suppose that's alright. So we need to head on up north. I assume it's north, but <laughs> up to this lost sector. I'm assuming we just run it normally, I'm guessing. Then we'll see what happens. Oh, somebody's driven their sparrow way up. <laughs> Rest in peace, good sir. Oh, I... Yeah, the thing's called Metasis. Meta that metamorphosis. Fucking dyslexia. Oh, if I... Hmm, I'm hoping I don't have to put my... Void weapon on as well. I think that's all of them. Best save my solar ammo momentarily. Oh no, there must be one still in here. Oh, I see, there's one hiding around here. That's cheeky. Oh, two opaque cards. Excellent. Ah, oh, it's raining. And I was going to go shopping in a bit. Need to get a couple of cards and some more milk. Right. <laughs> Guess I'll just sit at home and uh, do the Lost Sector some more. <laughs> Hopefully get the Moth Grenade. The Moth Grenade Exotic. Suppose we are getting. Suppose if I keep filling up those exotic, uh, those 
Ingram Slarkis. Got a lesson in sword logic today. You think you can defeat Sivu Arath with philosophy? <laughs> right. Let me show you something. Savathun kept records, and I took a look at what she had on her sister. Got a recording from way back, just after you guardians drop kicked Oryx into Saturn's orbit. <laughs> Call it a primary source for your little research project. Our brother is dead. I will take my revenge as he fought for his son. Revenge? For what? The dead deserved to die. That's your own logic. Horace was a hypocrite, and so are you. He loved us. He made of our death a study. And she, who has endured, who sharpened the sword of his defeat, has done the same. She will take up his mantle. When she is paired to her true shape, we will meet her on the bladed path. What a vain child you are. <laughs> <laughs> so from that it sounds as though killing Oryx sort of drove a wedge between Zivu and Savvy and uh, somehow Eris is uh, hey, Eris heard we have some uh, strange bedfellows though if a bedfellow ain't strange, then they're probably not worth having. So it seems. Have you come to urge caution? To advise against temptation? Nah. You know what you're about. But I'm wondering, what's it like? It begins as a... feral surmise. A suspicion. I hear whispers, but they are in my voice. <laughs> it rises until I am screaming. I make a demand. An atavistic fear now sublimated into a singular, desperate urge. A hunger I must endlessly sate. But the Hive are not afraid. They are awestruck. They know that I am vengeance, and they have conjured me back with vengeance. Ooh, sounds like a wild <laughs> ride. I seek to subvert the Hive's flawed logic. I may only do so because of what I am, and what I am not. It is... A wild ride. Hey, I'll be there when you're on the other side of this. As will I. Trust. Hmm. Certainly is pretty peculiar. Visit the hollow projector. 26. I didn't even realise I was that high. <laughs> Although I suppose it's not that high in such, but it's... Yeah. I completely forgot about the hollow projector. <laughs> oh, it's a mirror. Surprise, room. sunshine. Thought I'd hack this old holotech and say hello. <laughs> 
I don't like this whole let's work together plan, but I don't have to. I've got my orders. Let me play something for you. Tomorrow, if I am indisposed, bide your time. Huh. The witness will force the Vanguard's hand eventually, and they'll realize they need information only I possess. Huh. One of them will be open to a bargain. Not Mara again, poor dear. <laughs> More likely Ikora, our gloomy little hanger-on Ares. Give them any help they ask. It'll all be worth it in the end. And tell them something clever to make them think that this was their idea. You get all that, Guardian? Savathun wants me to give you the soft sell. But that's not really my style. So, go ahead. Bust up the throne world. Get as strong as you like. Tithe to Eris until she's fat as a tick. <laughs> it's all part of Savathun's plan. Oh, you need any help digging your own grave? Just let me know. I'm I. The plot thickened. <sighs> Curious to know where this season's gonna go. Um, given. Yeah, it's going to be a curious endeavour to see where the um, season takes us. I've got a feeling Savathun's probably going to betray us again when she gets reborn. Don't know. <laughs> I can feel it happening. But I don't know. Because obviously there's another season between now and Final Shape, so I'm assuming she obviously does something that causes the next season to be a thing. But we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, stay tuned for more Destiny 2 content as the season continues. And also feel free to check out my current High on Life playthrough, if you like Rick and Morty. It is a very bizarre game, and there is a couple of episodes left. But, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.